Welcome back. So, some updates today. I got the Rand back from Powder Coat. I'll unbox that in a second. And another thing, I figured out my TIG welder and the TIG pedal. So now I can TIG like everybody else and have the functionality of the TIG pedal like I should have had all along. <clears throat> so I'll go over that in a minute, but I'm gonna lay down a bead and show you what I got. All right, well, the first video stopped for whatever reason. It's hotter than crap outside, so that might be why the phone might have got too hot. So we'll run her a little more. Let's see where we get. Not very good at welding on the edge. That's shaky at best, but that's what I did when the phone stopped. And that's because uh, the piece of metal is, I've used that tool to make sure that this piece can lay down in it. And a um, whole lot better that way. Plus, I can feel a breeze coming through here, and uh, it's screwing with uh, the gas a little bit, but nonetheless, I can control this a whole lot better now. So what was going on with my machine is they sent me this pedal, because they said that the one the machine comes with is just an on-off. So they send me this pedal. It's got this knob on here that adjusts. And then you've got to make sure that you've got the machine set to remote. And so pretty much doesn't matter where you set the amps on the machine, wherever you set them on this pedal, that's where full throttle is going to go. So if you set that sucker to 200, full throttle is going to be 200. If you set it to 50, full throttle is going to be 50. So it took me a minute because I had the pedal set at 10. And every time I'd hit the gas, it would just go to 10 amps and it wouldn't do anything. And I thought we got problems. But after about a dozen freaking phone calls with Eastwood, because I had originally got a welder from that company and they sent me a used welder, um, had tool marks all over it. It was used, it was not new. And they tried to argue with me and tell me that they don't send out used stuff, but all the screws had tooling marks. You could tell it had been apart. So, uh, I got this new welder, and lo and behold, they send these things out with a pedal that's not adjustable. That's the whole reason that anybody buys a TIG welder, is your ability to hit the gas and go all the way. So, like, I have text Billy and, and, and hit everybody else up. I was ready to unload this and go get a CK Worldwide, which is probably a better machine for me anyways. A Fronius would be nice, but not even close to that type of talent or... Um, producing enough stuff with this welder to even have one of those, but I'm glad I can adjust that now. So that's done. Let me flip this around and show you the rear end. All right, so finally we got the rear end back from Powder Coat after all the stuff that I went through with this 8.8. The 8.8 that everybody thinks is gonna break. Sometimes I get tired of hearing everybody's comments. Um, these things are a lot stronger than they get credit for. But I elected to go with like a texture type look rather than like a gloss look. 
So I got the textured look going for the rent, housing itself, and then the forward braces. I did them a gloss black. This is just not my day. Uh, I put the whole rear end together, not the whole rear end, but the front um, brace, and the phone stopped again. Uh, I think everybody's trying to get a hold of me, trying to set camping stuff for Christmas. I think that's what's going on, but uh, let me flip it around. So there's the front brace bolted in. I was looking for, I got some titanium bolts, uh, NAS. I was looking for some of those for here, but I don't have any, but nonetheless, she's short and stout. Just the way I like them. All right, you guys, it's uh, Thursday, no, Wednesday. Wednesday, the 24th, I believe, August. Um, I was trying to show you guys that I figured out the TIG welder. Uh, with all that being said, I'm gonna pull the anti-roll bar out and try to finish weld that thing up and the down links so that I can get those powder coated. I'll probably throw you on a time lapse and then kind of show you the results. Like um, the best TIG weld you ever seen, but it's all right. Wow, that stinks. I'll let those uh, go off. you guys it's friday the 26th of august as you know i get surgery monday on my shoulder so i'm probably going to be down and out the videos have already kind of slowed down a little bit so i'm assuming they're going to slow down even more uh, i'm going to try to I, i'm going to try to heal up as fast as i can but for tonight uh, it's about nine o'clock i got to go in and go to bed in about an hour but uh, i got the anti-roll bar welded up last night now I'm going to burn in all these tabs. I think I might already said that. Um, but let me show you what we got now. So, anti roll bar tabs and shock tabs. We're gonna burn those, burn those together, and then we're gonna burn these to the frame that I made, and that will be done. So, I'm gonna time lapse. I got a good kid rock song going right now, or a good playlist, and. Uh, couple of cold beers so I'm gonna keep moving on listening to that and unfortunately you guys will be on a time lapse
boy. Those are not my best wields. Uh, they'll hold, but I am not ambidextrous or a switch hitter in anything I do. So uh, I had a little hard time getting the torch in there, but they're welded. I'm gonna throw the anti-roll bar in there and shocks, and make sure nothing moved too much and uh, call it a night. It's like 11 o'clock and I gotta get up at four. So I'll uh, get this done and then give you guys a look and then I'm going to bed. the shocks and the anti roller it all went right in really good I got everything welded to the frame and set the little rear end in there looks pretty dang good in there it's short and stout so that'll conclude it for this evening Try to get back out here tomorrow and I don't know what I'm gonna do with that thing. Maybe I'll try to drill it. But I think it's like a reverse like thread. So I'm gonna have to order a tap or something because I ain't got something like that. But um made some good progress tonight. Got all these tabs welded in. Now we can start back on the fenders. That little piece that I made in the center of them, it's gonna need to be wider. I'll show you guys tomorrow. Or I can't actually unless I take this all apart, but basically the tire is too close to it. Um, in the back so I need to space it out probably another half an inch and I'll have plenty of clearance so I have to remake those center pieces re-stamp them with that tool and re-drill holes and all that but I may work on that tomorrow so I can at least get the inner fenders have an idea what I'm doing there and then I want to get the center piece that's going to go like over the anti-roll bar and then come down here and end and then also Maybe get the flange in that's going to go right here and then the flange that's going to go across here because the gas tank is going to sit down in here. So we'll see where I get. I'm trying to get as much work done as I can this weekend because my surgery's, surgery is Monday and I know I'm going to be down and out. So if I can get a fair amount of stuff done um, this weekend, at least you guys will have some content and then we'll see how I feel um, after the surgery. They want me to go to physical therapy a week after. So we'll see, he wants the sling on for a few days, typically like more than a few days, but when I wore the sling, when I wrecked the bike, it hurt. So he says, if it hurts, take the damn thing off. So I'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, it's Monday, the 29th of 
August. And I'm on my way to get my shoulder rebuilded. So, I guess we'll see how I feel afterwards. It's one of those things where I'm able to move it now and I'm nervous to go get it worked on because I, I don't want it to be worse after I get it done. But the doctor says if I don't get it done, it's gonna unlock and come out and it's not gonna be the same, especially when I get older and that it has a increased chance significantly increased chance to have arthritis if I don't get it tightened back up. So I think I tore the labrum and the heel sacs. I think, I don't know, there's so much stuff in the MRI that I didn't know how to make sense of, but he showed me what he's going to do and it's supposed to be like an hour, hour and a half procedure. <clears throat> so wish me luck and uh, I'll catch up with you guys afterwards. like day two had surgery yesterday and I didn't film when I got home uh, the game the nerve block which worked all right and then last night it started to go away and then they gave me Percocet but it doesn't quite take the edge off I might call the doctor and see if I double those up if that'll be okay <clears throat> and my voice is all hoarse because they intubated me when, or whatever, put the tube in when they put me down, put me to sleep. But, just a little update, I feel like shit, and I didn't sleep, but like three hours last night, I just couldn't sleep. Weird. Especially being on opiate drugs. So, I'll check back in with you guys, I don't know, later today or at some point.